Hello world. I uh, this was this was a mistake, a, a terrible mistake. But anyways, I, I I wanted to show you my tea collection. I I actually don't think it's much of a collection at all. If, I don't know. I haven't bought any tea in the last couple of months, especially not now. I mean, quarantine and all that. Okay, ladies, gents, and everyone else. Uh, here's my tea collection, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. This is very stupid. I'm sorry, I'm going to be saying how stupid it is constantly. Because I do think this is sort of stupid. Who talks about their tea at length? Alright, this one. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Right, organic. Uh, ooh, this is... Hold on. Used by May 2018. Hmm. Well, we're not following that in, in those instructions at all. Also, this container. I, I mean, I very much like peppermint tea. Wonderful. Can't go wrong with that. Mint is one of my favorite uh, scents. But the container. It's terrible. I mean, it looks nice. Don't get me wrong. But it's... Um, a complete nightmare to open. We are not. We're we're just talking about tea. I need to get back on track. Uh, sugar and raw. All right. This. I mean, how nice is this? Huh? A wooden box. The way it opens. Hold on. Let me figure it out. Covent Garden. Very nice. It just sounds fancy. Pure Ceylon tea, English breakfast, of course. It's this lovely little wooden box. All this information here that I don't pay it. Ooh, handmade, hand printed. I don't know. It's been years and somehow this is the first time I'm reading this. But look at this. You see that? It opens like this. Wonderful. And that's not, that's actually the tea right there. It's actually, hold on a sec. That's actually that. That Twinnings English breakfast. That's actually that. What was I gonna. My tea review, because I'm being an idiot that doesn't know how to write. Great. English breakfast. Black tea, basically. Could somebody tell me, please, what the difference is? They seem like they're basically the same. I mean, the ingredients say that they're basically the same. Um. Although I have seen some other teas um, that just say 100% black tea and they're called something else. So somebody please explain that to me because I'm apparently too lazy to Google it. What was I talking about? Jeez. Dear God. Okay. Um, right. We are talking about sugar. Um... Now these three teas, David's teas, they're not actually David's. They're not, um, there's no David in this household. Uh, they all, these three all came in, uh, a sort of a, a gift set, almost came with, nope, not this spoon, a different spoon that is hopefully in here somewhere. Otherwise I've lost it. And that's unfortunate because I really like that spoon. Yep, it's gone. Goodbye. Forever. I'm actually not sure if I've tried any of these. Um, this one, as you can see, is unopened. This one is another black tea. And I apologize for the poor camera quality, the complete lack of focus. Um, this, as I mentioned, is an old camera. Anyways, uh... Orange Peco. Why? 100% black tea again. Why is there an orange involved? Does it have an orangey flavor? Who knows? The Big Chill. If only I could have that. Jeez. The Big Chill. I think this thing. I think it was this one. I always get these two confused. I don't know why I would dislike this one. So I'm pretty sure it's this one. One of these two. 
absolutely hate. Um, I'm not even sure if I've actually managed to turn it into tea. I just know that at the very least, I put it into a little tea bag or a little uh, infuser and then just completely hated the smell. And just was like, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna drink that. No, thank you. I'm not, no, no, no. Uh, could be the valerian root, which is unfortunate. I really wanted to like this since it has valerian root. And apparently, that's good for depression, but that's life, isn't it? Way back there, just a couple of. Ooh, I completely forgot about this. Um, God's Garden Pharmacy. Wow. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw this in a church. I found this, I think, in, I'm pretty sure, either a Sprouts or Likelier. Likelier? Uh, a Trader Joe's? Or what? There's a third one that I always forget. D don't. N yeah, I don't remember. But alfalfa with peppermint. Con menta. Um, great, wonderful. Uh, tastes like peppermint. I don't know if it, I don't think alfalfa really has the flavor, but if it does, it's pleasantly unintrusive. Um, it's just nice. It's apparently good for your digestive system, but I think just anything with mint is probably good for that. Right, these two are, pro are probably one of my newer, two of my newer ones. Um, the container, I quite appreciate. It's one of those, um, would this is not what this is not what's called vacuum sealed but what else would you call it air locked uh air proof very good um container i mean really if you want to maintain the freshness as for the flavor i mean if you know chamomile tastes like then you know what it is um lavender maybe like a touch of lavender um pr yeah pretty much anything it says right there gosh the camera quality is quite poor <laughs> but here you go what am i supposed to do um yeah it tastes like that relaxer sure uh i don't know Ooh, world tea expo champion that's nice for best new tea package yes the packaging that's what i'm telling you and uh eternity um watermelon mint moringa um i don't know if i taste anything of these flavors in particular watermelon sure i taste a little bit of sweetness basically the flavor is there it's good but it's um i'm not nothing is really really jumping out at me as far as i remember because i have a terrible memory right so here I have a bunch of sort of random little things. Um, this sort of I forgot what it's called. Something light. Have this thing. Herbal tea, lemon and ginger. Generally, I think I I just don't like ginger tea or teas with lemon in them in general. I don't know something about them. I think ginger is sometimes just a, a touch too spicy, or I just don't care for it and. A beverage just a, a tea like beverage but apparently it's good for uh, allergies as my father would like you to believe a cure for uh, allergies I, I highly doubt it but who knows it's what he claims jasmine blossom I think well no I don't think I'm pretty sure um, I stole it uh, <laughs> From who knows where? 7-Eleven? The hospital? Who knows? Alright, this thing. Hold on, let me show you one of these. Do you see this? It's like a little, uh, pyramid? It's a, a very crushed pyramid. Alright, it's called Your Tea, uh, Chok Nirvana. Um, yeah, it's one of those teas. I have little bits of chocolate in them, I think. Uh, I remember seeing a lot of them on the Tivana website back when you could still order tea on there. I don't know why you can't anymore. 
Or at least last, I, last time I checked, I couldn't. Anyways, by itself, just steeping that in water, nothing else, sugar, sure. I don't like it. But in milk, not bad, I think. Kind of like a, like the, the black tea situation. And milk tea's not bad. All right, what's this? Rosebuds. Um, man, I think I just completely forgot about these because I haven't had any rose tea in the last decade. Alright, what's this then? Jasmine tea. Um, product of the People's Republic of China. PRC. Very nice. Um, I don't know why, but I just... There's something about, like, met uh, teas in metal containers that really does it for me. Uh, I don't know, it could also be the sort of, the gold detail. Um, I don't know, the fact that this reminds me kind of like a flask. That could be it. Let's see, does this say anything about it? I forgot that we were supposed to be looking at expiration dates. That was a thing, right? Alright, now this. Lemongrass and ginger. I know I, I just said pretty much that I don't like ginger in my tea but this doesn't really taste like ginger it tastes more like uh what does it have green tea there you go green tea that's what it tastes like but not as sort of uh earthy as sort of my other green tea um it's a little bit smoother i guess in texture as well uh coconut chips um I don't know, I don't remember if I actually taste any sort of coconutiness uh, in it, but it could give it a bit of sweetness. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, lemongrass cut. I don't know if I taste that, but if I do, I enjoy it very much. Uh, artificial lemon flavor. Why? Why would you do this to me? Why would you add anything artificial to tea? Come on. Loose leaf tea. Tea, come on, that's supposed to be like the freshest, bestest thing. Herbal blend, of course. I do really like this little scoop thing. It's very cute. Um, it holds like nothing in it. So, have to, so you have to use like at least two scoops of these. But it's very nice. Uh, it's another one of those containers that has a bit of a, a tighter seal than just a, a scroll cap. Now this, I, I, this, again, because I'm an idiot, this is actually probably, um, my newest tea. Uh, hibiscus sangria. Uh, I've only made this once, because my, I, I think I've, how much did I pay for this? What does this have? Um, I mean, obviously, hibiscus sang, no, sangria is not a, uh, there you go. Hibiscus, apple bits, sweet, blackberry leaves, orange peel, natural orange, lemon, lime, and strawberry flavors. Well, here's the thing. My sense of smell, unfortunately, is inadequate. It is not fully there. Uh, much like my mind. I'm sorry. And, uh, so I don't, with flavors, I'm not the best judge of them. Uh, subtlety doesn't work very well for me um, so I, it's it's difficult to say how much of that I can taste but I I do enjoy it it was it did have like that hint of sweetness that I occasionally enjoy from tea now this this is I think hold on expiration date um, that okay April 2021 we're good this one anything um, no. Great, thank you. This thing. I mean, look at this. It's another little sort of uh, metallic container. I think this is actually more cardboard than metal. But I like it none the same. This is oolong tea. I can't remember which was oolong or jasmine that I, I liked it better when. Um, when mixed with like a little bit of uh, milk. I mean, they're both great on their own, 
but there's one of the two that just worked like better than the other when it came to making it a milk tea. I don't know which one. Uh, product of Taiwan, uh, expiry date, two years. And I'm pretty sure I've had this for more than that, probably more than four years. But, uh, well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Now this, great container, right? Again, the sort of seal. It has come to my attention that I just do not shut up. I just, oh goodness, I blabber on and on and on and on and on and on. It's been probably about um, 30 minutes of just talking about these tea, these things, pretty much. I still have this little corner to go, so I'm going to try to speed things up. Right, globe amaranth tea. Um, I was gonna say that it's fine, but it's really not. The, the colors um, is actually looking brighter on camera than, than it is in real life. In real life, it's a bit of a more of a dusty mauve color. Um, and this, well, I'd like to say that it has like a delightful, pleasantly floral flavor. It doesn't. It has uh, nothing. Worse of flavor. I'm disappointed. I was expecting maybe like a little blooming tea. No, not at all. all right now, pop it on back. Steep by Bigelow. Uh, organic dandelion and peach. And I'm I'm sure I'm gonna pronounce that wrong. Ruibos and uh, green tea. Um, this I'm pretty sure. No, actually, never mind. I was gonna say that this is probably one of those black teas that I keep going on and on about, but I'm pretty sure this is actually more of a, a red tea. A long ago, when I was first getting into tea, many, many years ago, um, I did quite a bit of research on different teas and the benefits, antioxidants, tannins, whatnot, and I've um, since then forgotten everything. So dandelion and peach, don't know if I taste anything. Uh, I might get like a slightly peachy flavor. Um, ooh, expiry date? Uh, November 2020. There's a half time left. Even though I'm pretty sure I have, um, like at least 15 out of the 20 packets. Alright. I approve. Tazo. Tazo? Uh, flowering and honey bush. This, I know I've said multiple times with different teas. I'm like, oh, these are one of my newer ones. No, I'm pretty sure this one actually is my new newest uh, tea. Flower and honey bush. Um, right, caffeine free, herbal. Um, honey bush with natural flavors. Hold on, expiration date anywhere. And it's um, 2018? Are you sure? Huh. No, 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 okay, best before. October 10, 2020. All right, I still have time. Right, what do I think of this? It's okay. Uh, as it says, uh, subtle fruit and floral notes. I don't know about rich and creamy texture and much um, honey-like flavor. Um, it's. It, I mean, it has a little bit of sweetness, but I wouldn't call it honey-like. Um, then again, I don't like honey. I don't get why people like honey. People just love it for whatever reason, and I just don't get it. I wish I did. It has a lot of health benefits, apparently, but I don't... No thank you. I've, I've gotten a bit used to it, because, surprise, surprise, uh, corona time, I got a little bit sick. Well, not a little bit sick, but I had... I uh, I was drinking a lot of uh, tea, lemon teas, or I guess... what. It's not even lemon tea, it's just water with lemon and, and honey. Um, right, so I've been, I, I've, I've gotten sort of used to honey now. I'm still not my thing, chrysanthemum tea. Now this, first of all, I have lovely memories of uh, a children's book. Something about little mouse's name was chrysanthemum. And there's a whole thing about um, liking uh, and accepting the name that you were given. You know, it's unique and uh, 
Ugh. Hold on. Let me see if I remember how to how to read this. Gotcha. But anyways, I got this because oh, expiration date. Here we go. December 2016. Let's ignore that. It's fine. There's nothing to worry about here. All this tea, still good. Maybe a little um unflavored, a little flavorless, but it's fine. It's good. It's a nice tea for when you don't really want a lot. I was gonna say for when you don't want a lot of flavor, but that's not what I'm trying to say. Alright, so good memories about chrysanthemum, but mostly I got it because one time I tried this sort of um, chrysanthemum fizzy drink. Like a soda, I think? Right, Twinnings of London. 100% uh, pure black tea. And this, I mean, I... Ooh, expiration date? 2020. We're good. Um, Alright, did I mention black tea is my favorite? First of all. Um, the most caffeine, pretty much, out of any of them. Um, I mean, I have an appreciation for green tea, but with all its antioxidants. But, um, caffeine. Yeah, caffeine. For sure, though, some black teas are better than others. I do really like this one. Um, hold on, but I've also had some that I just did not like at all. Hold on. This one. Expiration date 2015. Okay, best before 2018. There you go. This one. I'm pretty sure I got in um, uh, what's it called? Marshalls. Uh, not good. I don't like it. Not a fan. Ooh, speaking of tan teas, tans, teas that I'm not a fan of. This thing. Hold on. I'm just Chinese lapsang souchong. And I'm sorry, because I already know. I, the words came out of my mouth, and I immediately knew that that's not how you pronounce it. But anyways, I hate this tea. The worst tea. How could anyone enjoy this? I will never know. I mean, I've, I've heard of sort of teas with a bit of a smoky flavor. And I thought, oh, I want to try that. Sounds nice. Interesting. Look at that. Distinctive smoky aroma will carry you away to a forgotten time. If only it only, it only brought me back into the unpleasant pre like uh, the unpleasant present. Just uh, why? This tea was like if you just got that liquid smoke, diluted it in like a cup of water and like added just like a tinch uh, like a tinch, a pinch of the bitterness of black coffee, it was like that. It was terrible. I tried adding sugar, didn't work. Just just the aftertaste it got stuck in your throat. It was terrible. I hated it. Then I I tried adding a bit of milk. You know, maybe it's like uh the the pyramid tea I showed you earlier. You know, maybe it works better like that. You know, because the other one I really didn't like at all. <laughs> kind of didn't hate it, but I just didn't like it at all how it was. And then with milk, completely changed the game. No, terrible. Couldn't even finish half of it. What? Just a fourth, maybe at most, is what I could drink. This disgusting. I don't know what to do with it because I don't like waste. I really don't like waste, and I don't want to throw it away. But what am I supposed to do? Give it away to someone? What do I want to do? Poison them? That's awfully rude. Alright, this thing. I gave it to my mom because, as you can see, lemon and ginger. Most importantly, fennel and burdock root. Very interesting. Fennel, lemon, lemon peel, lemon grass, burdock root. Burdock root. Uh, I've never heard of that. Right. Back to here. Um... Gourmet tea, Alessa. Super fruit green tea. This, as you can, I was gonna say, as you can probably tell by the small letters. No, you can't. Uh, <laughs> because the, the camera quality is absolute shite. Um, 
yeah I didn't get this in America but it has uh, green tea Jamaica uh, is wait actually is Jamaica Jamaica that's the same as, I'm pretty sure that's the same as hibiscus um, little f um, bit of what's that uh, pomegranate uh, blueberry acai uh, stevia leaves um, don't know what that is and a bit of caffeine this one has a bit of natural sweetness which is nice but overall this is not my thing just it's too fruity in a way that one in the back I think I actually didn't like this at all this is saffron tea jasmine and red rooibos uh, happy tea wow antioxidant antidepressant I sure hope it is Leaves anxiety, better mood, seven essential minerals. Is that keto? The K? I'm intrigued. Uh, I think I tried it once. Didn't particularly care for it. I think I, I thought I really disliked it, but I mean, it's in my corner, so maybe I did. Tetley, natural green tea. There you go. I do like, I don't know, I just like how it feels opening this box. Which I can't really do one-handed, at least not with. All right, um, and it's those nice little rounded. Uh, mentioned how I liked opening this little round uh, little tea bags that it has. Okay. And that's all I remember. Hold on, any expiration date? Best by August. Uh, it's fine. I bought this at Winkos. That's all I remember about anything I guess um I'm pretty sure there's another tea I'm missing Ooh, there you go my English tea shop uh wild what the wild nope white tea and blueberry and elderflower I do really like this one um seems like I wouldn't similar to the the superfood green tea that is mostly not tea I guess uh, well, I guess it is actually uh, mostly a white tea, but does white tea even have a flavor? But anyways, I mean, it just looks nice. I mean, look at this. Hold on. Let me take one of these out. It's just nice. It's pretty. It's a really lovely blue. Not my favorite blue, but close enough. It's really pretty. Um, I mean, it'll taste great. There's that. Ooh, expiration date anywhere? Uh, 2019. It's okay. It's fine. I don't care much about expiration dates. It's 3 in the morning. You can hardly blame me for being absolutely out of my mind. Right, so... Very good tea. I approve. Right. There's also, lastly, this tea. Which I got quite a bit ago. Zero calories? Wow, isn't that like every tea? Barley tea. It tastes like what you would expect. It tastes like grain. Um, but I do like it. I mean, add enough sugar and it's fine. Toss in a bit of mint leaves and it's great. So right, there's uh, my tea collection, which I know I said wasn't much of a tea collection. But considering that this video, unedited, is around the um, 30 minute mark, um, it, sh it sure is, I think. Surely qualifies for it, doesn't it? So, um, thank you for uh, sticking around for... Um, this unnecessary uh, exposition of various types of tea. And I'm sure that I forgot a tea or two that are hidden somewhere in the corner. But, um, really, I don't want to take up more, more of your time. It's tea. It's just tea. Very good. Good for your health, apparently. But it's just, it's just tea. Thank you, and... Uh, Goodbye.